Hello and thank you for clicking on this video. Today I'm going to be reacting slash reviewing my 2020 vision board and goals and then I'm also going to be sharing with you the process of making my 2021 vision board and also talking a little bit more in detail about my goals for this year. So I actually only posted my vision board video six months ago. I think I did it in it must have been either May or June. So obviously at that point half the year had gone so I kind of kind of set goals for an entire year which there was only six months left of so i kind of messed up a little bit in that respect but it's a new year and i now have a full year to do it so what we're going to do is we're going to watch and we're going to talk a little bit more about my goals that i set last year and see if they've come true and also yeah just see where we're up to with them i'm going to watch this video and i'm going to cringe my back out i know i'm going to cringe so i've got a basically semi cold cup of tea here we're going to watch it and have a look. Okay, so for this area over here on the vision board, this is relating to my weight loss goals. So I've actually wanted to lose weight for quite a while now and I've sort of been up and down, but I feel like I've never really believed that I can do it. And I used to focus on trying to get away from being overweight rather than focusing on what I was going to, which is, I think, why I've not been successful. Since reading the book, it actually has a section in The Secret about weight loss, has really helped me identify some of the issues that I have in terms of weight. So this side is focused on the things that, one, I want to look like, and two, the kind of clothing that I would wear if I was, not if, when, when I am able to reach this goal. Short and long of it, no, I do not look like the people on that board. I wish, well, I know I will one day. Well, I'll look the best version of myself, whatever version that may be. Uh, with, with the weight loss one, it's such a funny one. I have struggled for years and years, like I said in that video, to lose weight and keep it off. I've had bouts where I have been to the gym literally like five, six days a week for months and months and made progress. And then something will come along like a holiday or, a night, few nights out, or someone's birthday or something that would throw me off my routine and I just wouldn't go back. And then I would gain all the weight back and more and then I'd be back to not even square one, like further than square one, which always really got me down. And I never really believed that I was able to do it. I struggle a lot with sort of my self-confidence and my body image. I only really realized that properly recently and that's from years and years of things like Instagram, dieting, weight loss clubs, like just everything. I don't feel like I need to get into it now, but yeah, basically now I've realized that actually the issue is that even if I do lose weight, well, when I lose weight, I'll still see myself in the same way. I'll still pick myself apart. I'll still find issues on my body that I think need to change. Towards the end of 2020 is when I really was like, okay, I really need to sort this out. So I actually started working on myself and my mind and my body image and the way I see myself. And that included stopping weighing myself and stop looking at people and comparing myself and stop looking at other people's journeys and thinking, oh, I need to do it in this amount of time and doing it that way. And I really brought it back down to like the fundamentals of things. And now I am very, very happy to say that I am making progress in my journey. I have lost weight. I am going to do a video about it um, in the next few weeks about my first sort of section of weight loss. I have found workouts that I love. I enjoy doing them. I never ever thought I would be that person that said that, but I finally found something that works for me. So I'm gonna talk about it a little, little bit more in detail in my weight loss video, but I just wanted to bring up that, like, it doesn't bother me that I am not, I don't look like that in the space of six months. I think it's kind of a bit unrealistic. And also, I'm not gonna beat myself up one bit for gaining weight in a global pandemic um, with what we've been through in the last year and what we're still going through, unfortunately. So let's carry on. And then up this side is more YouTube and makeup focused. So in terms of YouTube, I really want to be able to reach 5,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Someone might go and look at my subscribers now and be like, girl, you're not gonna reach that. I am, I'm gonna. Okay, so you can glance down at my subscribers and see that I'm not on 5,000 subscribers. I think I'm on 1.5 at the minute, which by the way is incredible, like to reach this amount of subscribers in less than a year of posting on YouTube is actually a really, really big achievement. Um, I've come to realize a few things about YouTube and that's just through experience that sometimes you get lucky 
and one video can blow up which makes your subscribers rock it. Some video, a couple of videos might do sort of mid well which means that your subscribers will go up and you but also you will have bouts where you don't really get as many views you'll have videos that don't do as well as you thought they were gonna and I've come to realize that the main thing that you have to do is just focus on posting what you love post content that you enjoy it will come through if you're posting things that you think that people want to see like I know personally that things like try on hauls do really well like fashion hauls but for me at this moment in time that's just not something I'm gonna do I don't feel good in myself I have weight that I would like to lose and I am looking forward to doing those kind of videos once I've reached my goal because I'll feel incredible I don't want to go on and be trying these clothes and I mean like oh I look so uh, I look a bit like this nobody wants to see that shit so I eventually will do kind of videos like that there are different videos which do really well and I think it's really important to just remember to do what you enjoy um, I'm really really fortunate to get to 1.5 and if you are a subscriber who's watching then thank you so so much if you are not a subscriber then hit the subscribe button shameless plug let's carry on I would really love to be on a PR list by the end of the year as well so that is one of my goals I have achieved this I cannot tell you how exciting it is looking back at this video and that Demi there not knowing that I would be where I am. Um, I am a Glossy Box ambassador. I have worked with brands such as Look Fantastic, Stylevana. I've created content for people, for companies, YouTube channels like Glossy Box and Look Fantastic. I actually have something else in the pipeline coming with Look Fantastic, which I'm really excited about. So keep your eyes peeled for that one. I've been gifted the most beautiful products and I'm so, so grateful to be able to say that I have gotten to where I am now. It's to do with my finances. So I made some pretty silly mistakes in when I was younger in terms of like credit card and overdrafts and stuff like that. I am gonna do a separate video on that kind of thing and how I've been able to pay a lot of that off. So I am very, very passionate about being anti-debt, anti-Klarna, anti-credit card, anti-clear pay, anti-buy three, pay six months later, whatever they are. Like, I'm so anti them. I made some very silly decisions when I was a teenager that I'm still paying for now at 25 years of age, people. Do not do it. Klarna might be all fun and games when you're getting those new dresses and you're trying them on, but as soon as you get paid, you own money out. Like, you're borrowing from your future self. So I have made amazing headway with my debt. And I have, I think it's four payments left till I am completely debt free, which feels incredible, feels amazing. Um, so I'm not currently debt free, but I'm literally four payments off it. So four months or so. Um, so I've kind of left that on my um, vision board for this year as well, because it's not quite there yet, but I have paid a very considerable amount of already which as i said there i'll be doing a video as soon as i've finished it i feel like i kind of need to either get to the end or be like one payment off to do the video and be sitting feel confident confident enough to say like i did it this bottom right area is actually about me moving out so we are actually moving house in i'm gonna put this down now because my arm's aching i actually live with my parents and my little brother at the minute but i am looking to move into my own place sort of by the end of the year potentially maybe like January time. Okay, so I mentioned in there that I'm looking to move out and that I was moving house. So I ended up moving house with my parents, which is where I am living now. And I am now creating a plan to move out this year. So it will be, I have set myself a goal that it will be no later than my birthday, which is in July, but I would ideally like it to be earlier, maybe like May time. Um, but I'm just trying to be realistic with it. I don't want to rush into something and end up creating more debt or money problems. I need to work out a budget and all that kind of stuff, which I'm hoping to do a video on again with you guys. Yeah, that's really exciting. I can't wait to do moving vlogs, styling vlogs, hauls, homeware hauls. Oh, so excited. So they were pretty much the main um, goals that were on my board last year. Now, what is on my goal board for this year? So I'm gonna show you a little bit of the process of making this board and then we're gonna talk about it in a little bit more detail. We've been driving around, singing songs way too loud because we wanna Picking up our love friends, fill up the car to lip bands because we wanna
Okay, so here is my finished 2021 vision board. Apologies for the sunlight. At this time of day, it just gets really, really bright and I'm not able to film anywhere without being blinded. So this is my finished board and I went for a very slightly different colour scheme, although it kind of looks, oh, that tape's coming off. Although it kind of looks very similar now I'm looking at it on the screen. But I actually went for more of like a nude, muted pink colour rather than the rose gold and the pink. So this is the finished result. Over in this section, we've got the body stuff and we've got a couple of the same pictures, but I also found a couple of new pictures which really inspired me so yeah those are going to be staying on i have a picture of dubai because me and the girls are hoping at some point when it's over not now not when it's like you can only travel for work when you can go on holiday just to make that little difference i know people have been getting a lot of stick for going to dubai at the minute so when it's over well, I'll say over when you're allowed to travel for holidays. So that is me on a quad bike. Well, it's not, it's not me, but we're pretending it's me. And then in this area, we've got the moving out section. I made this a little bit bigger because I know that it's going to be a very big part of my year and the things that I'm going to be doing and my content on my channel. I've got a little date night thing down here because I am hoping that me and my boyfriend can put a lot more time into having some like dedicated date nights. Um, and just making a bit of an effort. So, yeah, that is that, why that's on there. Um, we've got some money ones here. Now, what you're probably going to be thinking, Demi, why is it in dollars? And that's just because the pictures on Pinterest with the dollars just look way cuter than money. So that's to do with, like, my debt and my savings and stuff like that. Then I've just got a couple of quotes and some little background things around here. Now, my YouTube one, let's talk about my YouTube goal. So my new YouTube goal is to reach 7,000 subscribers. Now I know you're probably thinking, Demi, you've just reached 1.5 and I've since setting that target. What makes you think you can get to seven in this year? And I'll tell you why, because I know that the things that I've got planned for this year and the way that I'm gonna be working my channel will result in an extra amount of subscribers. So I'm putting that number out there because it still doesn't, it doesn't feel like a silly number to me. So yeah, that is my goal for YouTube this year. So I am hoping to reach that. I have some more like smaller little goals along the way and some other things that I'm working on which I'm gonna keep to myself for now and then we'll kind of talk about them a little bit more in the future when I'm ready to. Yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you do need any help or you want any tips or anything on creating a vision board, then just comment them down below. I'll link the board and a couple of little bits down below for creating your own. I've also linked my very first video from last year because I talked a lot more in detail about how to create a vision board. Whereas in this video, I kind of shared my process. I didn't feel like I should do that again because that video is still valid. Um, so just check that video out if you want any more tips and like an actual process on how to create a vision board. So yeah, I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please don't forget to like and subscribe and I hope to see you here again very soon. Thank you. Let me feel your love again Cause I've been